you want to learn Tai Chi, good for you. In this video, I'll guide you through your first Tai Chi move with my clear, easy to follow, step-by-step -step instructions. You'll soon be enjoying the powerful health benefits and fun of real Tai Chi without frustration or wasted time. I'm Chris Cinnamon, head instructor at Chicago Tai Chi. At Chicago Tai Chi, we help adults move their bodies, deeply relax, and enjoy vibrant health. Here you'll learn real Tai Chi without the BS. By that I mean I'll guide you in how to move in an increasingly smooth, connected, powerful whole body way, a hallmark of Tai Chi. Plus, at the end of this video, I'll share my number one Tai Chi tip for beginners. Be sure to check the description below this video for links for more Tai Chi resources. With that, let's begin to learn move one. All right, let's learn our first Tai Chi move. This is the first move of our Tai Chi form, appropriately called commencement. What I'll do, I'll demonstrate it a few times, point out a couple key aspects that's important for you to get a sense for at the beginning. Then we'll break the move down, practice it together, and then do it. So here is move one, commencement. Pretty straightforward. I want you to take note of a few aspects of this. First, one way to describe how I'm moving is this. I'm bending and stretching. Bending, stretching. A fundamental movement pattern of Tai Chi. You bend and stretch in every move of Tai Chi. And one other aspect of this movement I encourage you to note is I'm staying pretty relaxed. So although I may be stretching, I'm not tensing. I'm not lifting my shoulders, my hands, arms, elbows are not getting stiff. I'm keeping everything more or less relaxed as I move. Another key characteristic of Tai Chi. So to guide you through this move, here's what I'll do. I'll break the movement down into the top and the bottom. First, we'll do the arm movements. Then we'll do the lower body movement components. Then we'll put them together. So if you're not already up, please get up and follow me. The arm movements of commencement. First... We raise our arms like this. No, everything's more or less bent. Then we extend the arms, hands, and fingers like this, a light stretch. Then we retract the arms and hands like we're tracing the back of a ball. And then the hands go back to the starting position. That's it. Follow me. Bend. Stretch. Bend, stretch, bend, lightly stretch without strain, bend, stretch. We can break this into a four count move. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. There, yeah, not so bad. Pretty straightforward. Now, the lower body movement component is also a bend and a stretch. And we bend in the legs, the knee joints, ankle joints, and the hip joints. A name for this lower body movement component is the qua squat. And qua is a Chinese word for this part of the body. And we use this part of the body in Tai Chi to help connect the bottom half and the top half. So a qua squat looks like this. There. 
lower part of the body is bending. And then I'm lightly pressing into the floor to stretch back up. So note my pelvis is going back and down and I'm climbing the torso a little bit forward. And then I'm coming back to the vertical. Here's the bend. Here's the stretch. So if you're not already up with me, get up with me and join me. We'll do some uh, repetitions of the lower body movement component of move one commencement. We'll call it the quad squat. So here we go. Pelvis goes back and down, torso inclines, proportionally forward, then lightly press into the floor, come back to the vertical. There we go. Here's the bend. Here's the stretch. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Stretch. One more. Bend. Stretch. Now, let's put the top and bottom together and do some repetitions of move one commencement. So stand comfortably and follow me. So sink into your quad squat. Up come the arms. Bend. Stretch up through the legs. Extend the arms. Stretch. Sink back into the quad squat. Retract the arms. And stretch up through the legs as the arms stretch down. And repeat. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Stretch. We'll continue this movement. And I encourage you to feel for anywhere you may be tensing or muscling this move. And if you feel tension or muscle, do what you can to relax, soften, take it easy. It's Tai Chi. In Tai Chi, we move the body and relax it at ever deeper levels. And to relax the body at ever deeper levels, first we've got to feel we're tense. And then begin to relax that tension. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Stretch. Bend. Stretch. Real Tai Chi. Increasingly smooth. Connected. Whole body movement. Two more, bend, stretch, bend, stretch, bend, stretch, bend, stretch. And just stand for a moment and feel how you feel after multiple repetitions of move one commencement. And stay tuned for my number one Tai Chi tip for beginners. My number one Tai Chi tip for beginners is practice regularly, but not for long. For example, you could take move one commencement, practice it 20 times, 30 times a day. That might take you six minutes, maybe eight minutes. And that would be a perfect beginner practice. Pretty soon, over a short amount of time, the repetitions will increase. The smoothness will increase, the coordination will increase, and soon you'll be enjoying the powerful health benefits and fun of real Tai Chi. That's my tip. Practice regularly, but not for long. 